It's time for question and answers. Let's answer Stephen's question. This is titled Acer Aspire uh, 1 Notebook. What can be done if the keyboard does not respond when you are typing? All right, there can be several different reasons why. The first easiest thing I would do is make sure that there's not a button. This isn't an Acer, but uh, I'm just showing you. Make sure there's no buttons on this thing that turn the keyboard off physically. I've seen this before. Like this one has a button to turn off the pad here, and there may even be one to turn off the keyboard. Make sure that that is not on or that you have one of those buttons. That's the simplest thing to do. Now, the other thing I would do, if you have a USB keyboard, an extra one laying around, I would go ahead and plug that into the laptop and make sure that it's not a hardware problem or a software problem. You want to figure it out. If the keyboard works, the external one that you plug into the USB, that would mean that you have a problem physically with your keyboard and your laptop that you're going to have to address. But if it does work, that means you might have a problem with your Windows drivers and you should look there. Now back to the keyboard problem. Again, this isn't an Acer, but I'm just showing you. Underneath the keyboard, and you can look up your model online and it will show you what screws to take out. There's generally two screws on the bottom that will remove this keyboard. And I'm going to pull this one out just to show you. Now, there's a ribbon cable right here. And you can see, I'll get a close-up of it. And that plugs into a socket right here. And that may have come detached. And hopefully it did, because otherwise you're going to have to get another one of these keyboards. But they're only like 10 to $20 on eBay, so no big deal. But that would be the last and final thing I would check is this connection. So, again, I would first make sure there's no buttons on here that turn the keyboard off. And then I would plug a USB uh, external keyboard and make sure that that's not the problem. And then I would go for the ribbon cable. So anyway, do those steps and see if it helps. Thanks for the question, Stephen. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link, and leave a question, and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.